Hello everyone and welcome to this Monday's mini episode of the Nurtured by Nature podcast. It's the day after Christmas and that sort of funny time between Christmas and New Year when many of us are at home and we have some time off of work to relax and rest and hopefully meet up with friends and family. I just thought I'd do a very quick episode today. I don't want to take up much of your time, but one of the things I think we often find challenging as individuals is knowing what we can do to help the environment from our own home and our local areas. And something that has come to the fore as the internet has come into our lives more and more over the past few decades is the opportunity to become involved in citizen or community science research projects. There's quite a few of these available around the world. One of my favourite online ones, which you could all log on to today or in the next few days, possibly get addicted a bit like I am and, and use quite regularly, is Zooniverse. Um, I'll put links in the description. They're a worldwide platform and they have projects uploaded from researchers all around the world covering numerous different topics, not just nature-based and wildlife research projects. I actually came across them through the Giraffe Conservation Foundation and a research project which involved looking at the camera trap images that were captured by a team, the Twiga Walinzi in northern Kenya, who were cataloguing the areas where the reticulated giraffe are found. Um, it's a, a great thing to do on a wet and rainy UK day or evening. Good fun with children as well. And you click through the images and help the researchers by classifying what you see so it might be hopefully it would obviously be a giraffe but sometimes it's livestock or other mammal species birds and they have a key and information to help you identify the animals but there's numerous other ones on Zooniverse that you can get involved with so I'd highly recommend going and checking that out. I know of a few others that are more UK based, but if you know of ones that are in your area or region, I'd love for you to get in touch with me on social media or through my website and share them so that I can pass them on to the community. In the UK, I follow the Mammal Society and the Mammal Society have their own Mammal Mapper app, which is free to download and it would allow you to record sightings of British mammals, reporting sightings of all different animals and, and birds and butterflies is something that's become more common. We have things like the Garden Bird Watch. I think that's coming up early next year. Later in the year, we do the big butterfly count. A lot of these are run by um, charities that work with the species that are being counted. And it's well worth keeping an eye out for these and getting involved wherever you can. Having extra eyes and ears on the ground for these charities is a huge benefit. It allows them to map and record the species in a much greater area. And one of the first foundations for any conservation is knowing what species you've got and where you've got them. So having this greater ability to connect with community and citizen science projects is invaluable for the researchers and these organisations to then take forward plans for conservation and also campaign for legislation at sort of governmental and international levels to support species conservation and recovery. In addition to the Mammal Mapper, there's also another one called Mammal Web, and that one's specific for camera trapping. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you know that we quite enjoy having our camera traps out. We've been recording for many years now um, in and around our local area here 
Um, I actually spent a year producing a weekly video on my YouTube channel called Diary of an Oak Tree, which documented a camera trap that we had up an oak tree and a couple on the ground surrounding that. It was amazing actually to see the diversity of animals and birds that we were able to record over that time. Some, in fact, that I had no idea we had in the area. So it really is a, a, a valuable tool for monitoring wildlife. And the Mammal Web website allows you to go and help them with looking at footage that's been uploaded and helping them to classify any animals that are are in the videos that have been uploaded so that's another great one to get involved with but yeah just if you want to send any others i think um the red squirrel society up in scotland might be doing something as well looking for people to record their sightings of red squirrels um so just to have a look at different charities in and around your area if you're not in the uk look for ones that are local to you and see how you can use your time sitting at home or just out and about on your local patch to help conservation it can be really simple and it's a great way to feel like you're contributing and getting involved well, that's it for today's just quick little check in with you all and giving you some ideas of what you can do if you're getting a bit bored watching Netflix over the next few days. And I look forward to catching up with you on Friday when I've got a lovely episode to share with you of a conversation with Helen from Happy Seal Yoga up on the beautiful North Yorkshire coast. And I'll be back with you next week in the new year and looking forward to 2023 and how our community is going to grow and how this journey is going to develop. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll speak to you again soon. Thank you so much for listening to the Nurtured by Nature podcast. I truly hope this conversation has brought some hope and inspiration into your life. I would love to have these messages ripple out across the world. So if you can, please share this episode with your friends, leave a review on your favourite podcast player and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. I would love to hear from you, so please feel free to connect with me on the links provided in the podcast description. But most importantly, thank you so much for being a part of this journey with me. But don't forget to simply get out there and enjoy the natural world.